So the whole concept of this is for us all to come together so you can tell me how you feel. You guys, I clearly respect. I feel like everyone in this room for the most part is Tiff, especially you. They're not yes people. I don't want yes, I want you, your honest opinion. Because one thing about this book is once I release it, I cannot pull it back. So I wanted you guys' opinion about it. You know, so I want you to honestly tell me how you feel about it. So I'm not going through the whole book, because it's a lot. It's over two hours worth of content. But I'm gonna pick out a couple of chapters, and I want you guys to tell me what you think. You know, in this room, is, I see a lot of success. But the greatest person is one who gives back. I don't care how great you are. You're nothing if you don't give back. You can brag about being from the hoods and the ghettos, but those kids don't know any better. They don't see any better. They don't know a you. They don't know a me. They don't know us. So yet and still, we talk about the, the neighborhoods, but we don't care about them. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Empower Dynasty. And I'm your boss, Q the Boss. Today is a very personal topic for me because this particular topic has hindered a lot of people. It's called being insecure. You know, insecurities have plagued a lot of people. And I was a very insecure person myself. And I didn't realize how insecure I was until I realized I was insecure. You know, it's kind of funny because most people don't notice that they're a, they're a victim to their own selves, you know, and we hinder our own selves. For instance, my insecurity plagued me so much to the point where I second guessed everything I ever did in life. You know, I, I was scared to be my better self. I, I was scared to, to, to step out on a limb and take chances. My insecurities, you know, I was, I was scared to even talk to women, you know, because of my insecurities. And it wasn't the lack of, um, of uh, looks. You know, I'm not the cutest guy in the world, but yet and still, my insecurities were more so like, always had self-doubt. So my insecurity gave me self-doubt. I doubted myself so much. With everything I did, I always doubted myself. And that's insecurities. You know, for instance, I'll give you a story. I remember one time I was talking to an older gentleman and he said to me, why do you second guess yourself so much? Every time he told me that I can do something, I always said to him, I don't know. Nah, 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 that ain't me. Maybe that's somebody, somebody else. Maybe that's for somebody else. See, sometimes I realize that we block our own blessings but not believing that we're blessed enough to be blessed. Are we worthy enough to be blessed? I've noticed that some people really don't believe that they're worthy enough to be blessed. They second guess themselves too much. And that was my insecurity. My insecurity was me saying to myself that I'm not worthy to have certain things. I I'm not worthy to experience, experience certain things. I'm not worthy to, to go into certain environments. There was a time where I was so hood or, or quote unquote ghetto, I was scared to go in certain rooms that weren't like that because of the fact that I knew or I felt like I didn't fit. Not realizing that new experience was gonna give me exposure. And by being exposed to something new, my mind can transition into something new. But I didn't realize that. That was my insecurity. You know, I used to think that people saw me a certain way. At first, I remember when I started doing videos, I was nervous with even speaking this content because I was always worried about what someone would think, you know? But now with my securities, I said to myself, like, look, it's not for that person. When conversations go, in, go on and they don't fit you, if it don't apply, let it fly. But most people engage in conversations that don't even fit them because they want to speak on negative. They want something negative because they're insecure. Insecure people will make you insecure and you won't even notice how insecure you're becoming by being around people that's insecure. You won't even notice how insecure you're becoming. You'll start engaging and entertaining your insecurities. I'll give you one insecure that we do. I feel like the dopest thing a woman can do is be confident with or without makeup. She doesn't look better with or without it. I feel like your confidence should be a reflection on whatever. If you're enhancing yourself, so be it. But at the end of the day, I feel like you should be confident with or without the makeup. And vice versa for men. I feel like a man shouldn't be made up dressed up and feel like he's, he, he's somebody because of that. Insecurities have hindered a lot of people from becoming somebody. And when I say somebody, I mean their better selves. At the end of the day, I don't compete with nobody. I chase my dreams, aspirations, and goals. No one's level of success, it, it, it makes me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. I see people. All I use other people that's doing better than me as inspiration. Before, when I was insecure, I used to be very jealous. Insecurity is a trigger to jealousy. Insecurity is a trigger to, to, to you being inferior. 
Insecurities will allow you to make a lot of poor decisions that you won't even notice that you're making because of your insecurities. You know, I remember one time, again, back to this gentleman, we were speaking and as I was speaking, he kept telling me that I was, I was more than what I thought I could be. And I couldn't believe it because I was around a lot of insecure people also. And insecure people is people that feel like they have to uh, uh, hide behind certain things. Most insecure men, are out, they try to act alpha male or alpha males because of the fact they're insecure. A very aggressive man usually is insecure. A confident man doesn't have to poke up his chest and show that his masculinity is measured by how tough he is. That's insecurity. And I used to be that male that used to poke up my chest and feel like the more I can fight and the more I can uh, uh, verbally express myself opposed to just actions, I felt like that's what made me an alpha male. Not realize that actually made me more beta. More beta men tend to be more aggressive because they're trying to hide behind something, which is something called insecurities or insecure. They're very insecure. You know, as I've gotten older, I realized that I had to be comfortable in my own skin. And it took me a while to get to this level. And the reason why I was able to get to, get to, uh, to, get to this level is because I started being honest with myself. Every day I start off days having conversations with myself. I only speak to people that tell me the truth. You know, some of the most annoying people in my life are the people I chose to be around because they always tell me the truth. They're annoying because of the fact that they tell me the truth, but I actually, at this point in my life, I appreciate them. I second guess myself when I'm not asking these people uh, questions because they don't tell me what I want to hear. See, the problem is most people want their, your, their opinion from your mouth. They want you to say how, uh, uh, how, how they feel from your mouth. So they look for people that will co-sign everything about them. Insecure, very insecure. You know, by being insecure, you'll never be a, a comfortable or allow yourself to ever see the greatness of oneself. And when I say greatness of oneself, I say this because of the fact that you should be knowing that, or, or rather understand that you are the determining factor of yourself. You determine your level of success. Every time I get up, I look at this invisible wall in front of me, right? And I tell myself, psychologically, you have to climb over this wall. The problem with most people is, they don't wanna climb over that psychological wall. They stand behind the wall and they keep telling themselves. And the more you tell yourself lies, or the more you tell yourself, or uh, you feed the insecure bug, the more you will see how that wall will get bigger. Look at this, I can't do it. Self-doubt. That wall just got a little taller. Um, um, may, maybe, may, maybe my, my, my life is not meant for that. that. That wall just got a little taller. So every time you keep saying these things, that wall gets taller and taller and taller and taller. To the ultimate point is self-doubt is the ultimate reason why most people fail. Self-doubt. If you don't believe in yourself, how can someone ever believe in you? Listen to the logic. It doesn't make sense. How could someone ever believe in you when you don't believe in yourself? I've noticed an extreme cheat code to life is being around people who, who actually uh, motivate you, who encourage you, who, who work on your insecurities. If words bother you still to this day, that means you still gotta toughen up, uh, tighten up your skin. There's an old saying, and a lot of people wanna go into business, I always tell them this. The number one rule for business outside of just uh, savings and learning how to deal with money is a major, major focal point that a lot of people ignore. Business is not personal. But a lot of people take business personal because of their insecurities. If I go into your salon and I tell you I don't like the way you did my hair, why would you get upset? Because that's your insecurities. When, as a business person, you should be saying, what could I do to fix it? Because business, again, is impersonal. I might love you as a person, but I might not love you as a business person because you're very insecure and because you make business so personal. That's one factor that a lot of people who want to get into business need to learn how to develop thicker and tougher skin because it's a doggy dog world in the business world. You have to know that uh, um, no matter what someone say, I can handle or deal with any situation. That's what make a boss a boss. A boss learns how to strategically strategize how to navigate every single water. For instance, me and my team, we're in a boat, we're in the middle of the ocean. And while we sit in the middle of this ocean, the waves don't feel sympathetic for me. 
The waves is throwing my boat left. The, the waves is throwing my boat right. The waves are throwing my boat all over the place. But it's on us to navigate these oceans and say, we want to get to the promised land. We can't make excuses because this ocean is going to continuously throw us around. And that's the business world. You got to be confident knowing that at the end of the day, whatever I want, I have to decide by my mouth and my actions because it determines everything about myself. You can speak of all the greatness you want. You can think of how successful you're going to be. But at the end of the day, the insecurities will show. It will show. And I'm going to tell you how you know people can be insecure. I've met beautiful women who are very insecure. I met handsome men who are very insecure because they don't see themselves the way other people see them. They don't see themselves. And the reason why they don't see themselves that like themselves like that is because they're not around people who are elevating their confidence, who are motivating them, who are encouraging them, who are telling them like, yo, bro, you are the man, sister, you are so great. So they see themselves on a smaller spectrum or a small level. It's because of their level of insecurities. And they fed this insecure bug so long that it's gotten so big that at the end of the day, the only way to get rid of it is maybe by being around people that can alter the way you thought about yourself. Self-love. Self-love is a big thing. A lot of people lack self-love. They do not love themselves. They can say, oh, um, I, I, I want this and, and, I, and I want to be this person. And I'm, come on. I walk in rooms where I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm the only black guy in the room and I speak and it took me a long time until I got secure in myself and knowing that I knew what I was talking about to be willing to do it. Again, I gave myself self doubt before I did anything. You know, if you say to yourself, I'm going to miss the game winning shots, chances are 90% of the time you're going to miss it because you already doubted. You already thought you was going to miss. You got to believe in yourself. You got to have confidence. You got to know for a fact that I'm going to, I'm going to win no matter what it takes. See, when you know you're putting in the work and you're doing what you're supposed to do, nothing else matters. See, my insecurity allowed me to, to, to get only to a certain level. And as I started noticing, I was like, wait, why am I around the same kind of people who always co-sign my madness? See, there's a bug. And, and the bug is, again, insecurity. All the people I was around only told me what I want to hear. So therefore, I couldn't see what I couldn't see. I was blind to my foolishness. I was blind to my decision making. I was blind to my insecurities. I was blind to my self-doubt. I was blind to everything because of the fact that everyone that was around me only told me what I wanted to hear. How could you ever be great being around people that don't tell you the truth? I always tell people, look at the logic, common sense. And I'm not, I'm only using this as an example. You've never seen a McDonald's employee hanging out with a millionaire. And the reason being is because the millionaire and the McDonald's person, chances are they don't have nothing in common. It's not saying just financially. It's just saying they don't have any things in common. If you want to get to levels, you got to be willing to get around people that are doing great things. And you'll start seeing everything change from a totality. Totally, your whole life will change. Insecure. I was a very insecure young man. And I'm going to tell you why I was insecure. It's because every time we would have certain conversations, the moment someone would tell me something, I always went on the defense. Put your guards up. Everything they said to me, whether true, whether true, whether true, whether true, I did not want to hear it. Soon as they spoke things to my ears that I didn't want to hear, the first thing I did was go on the defense. So here's the problem. I never really heard the words. I allowed the words to hurt me more than build me. See, sometimes you got to understand that people will tell you things to, to, to build you. So you got to understand who's telling you these things. Is it someone that's coming to break you or is someone that's coming to build you? And I couldn't understand the difference between the two. I kept looking at, you're telling me something I don't want to hear, so therefore, I'm going to be defensive. Here's a conversation between me and my mother. Q, you know, you're not doing well in school. The first thing I would do, mine, here's the problem. I was doing bad in school, but I would still be defensive. Rather than listening to her because she's telling the truth, I would say stuff like, no, my teacher don't like me. You see the excuse? That's, what's, that's reasoning for us to lose. Rather than you sitting there saying, you know what? I'm not doing good in school. You're 100% right. It takes a very confident person to sit there and listen to someone 
tells them about themselves because they're trying to mold them and help them become greater. People don't like to be told nothing about themselves. We live in a very hypersensitive world now. The world is hypersensitive. People, you can like, again, with the same conversation, my mom would say something like, why were you late coming home? I will blame the cab driver. I will blame the bus driver. I will blame everybody other than myself. In reality, I should have left a little earlier. But again, I didn't want to be held accountable for nothing. You know, my mom would say stuff like, you know, why do you feel like you got to buy those expensive sneakers? In my mind, I was only buying those insecure, I mean, those uh, expensive sneakers because it was my level of insecurity. I felt like by putting material around myself, people would see me as successful or rich or doing okay or doing financially good. But in reality, I wasn't. But that's the world. That word perception has hindered a lot of people. And then people are feeding into the insecure bug. They fueling it. And how they fueling it is by buying material things that make they self feel so much better. At the end of the day, you know your real situation. You can lie to the world and try to post lights, camera, action. But when the darkness goes, that's when your reality sets in again. Your life is what it is. So again, don't allow your insecurities to never allow you to get to the level that you want to get to. But again, you have to be conscious of your insecurities. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to say things to yourself like, wait, is it me or is it the world? That's a deep conversation to have with yourself. Could you really sit down with yourself and have a conversation with yourself and hold yourself accountable the whole conversation? Opposed to telling yourself a bunch of lies? Hmm. That's deep. It took me years to be able to do that. The moment I started telling myself the truth and the moment I started holding myself accountable, I noticed that all my results started changing. Everything. From the way I looked at life, from the way I carried myself, to the way I saw myself, to the way I spoke, to the way I act, everything across the board changed because of the fact that I started holding myself accountable. And my insecurities changed. I started becoming more confident. You know, I sat up more straight. You know, I, I went in rooms and wanted people to hear my voice. You know, I wanted people to know I'm there. And when I shook a hand, I shook hands with very, with extreme more confidence. Because I realized that some people are in the right rooms, but they're not being the right person. You gotta be the right person in these rooms too. In order to na navigate these rooms, you gotta know the direction. And by knowing the direction is fixing yourself. So again, you can have all the greatest relationships. You can have uh, all, you can make all the, 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 the phone calls to get you to the levels that you want. You can read all the books. The real problem is the application. Changing one's mind is the hardest thing for anyone to have to do. Especially a mind that's been programmed so long to be behave and to think a certain way. As the mind think of so will be the results. Again, insecure people they push their insecurities on you and you won't notice it. They'll say stuff like, girl, I wouldn't wear that. She's saying that because maybe she wish her body looked like yours. That's a way of reflecting her insecurity. Yo, bro, I wouldn't talk to her if I was you. That's his level of insecurity. Listen, be around those people that make you shoot for the moon and shoot for the stars. They say if you shoot for the moon, if you don't land on the moon, at least you'll fall amongst the stars. But you gotta be willing to shoot for it. You gotta be willing to go all the way to the top and know that you are the determining factor of your success. It's not the world, it's not the, it's not the neighborhoods, it's you. Navigate those areas by building up your confidence and know that you're doing the right things and you're pushing yourself to those extreme levels. At the end of the day, the only person that can determine your insecurities or fix your insecurities is yourself. I'm gonna tell you one more story before I get out of here. There was a guy, and we was having a conversation. In the midst of this conversation, the guy asked me, yo Q, there's a girl I like. And he said to me, she has a past. And I said, she has a past? He said, yeah, she has a past. I said, so reflect on the past. He said, yo, she was very promiscuous. I said, but let me ask you a question. How do she make you feel? He said, yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. She makes me feel really well. You know, I, I, I love her, man. She's, she's good to me. So I said, here's my next question. Are you trying to marry me? Are you trying to date me? He said, no. I said, so why does my words matter? 
because me and your friendship will never ever make I will never make you feel the way she makes you feel. If that woman makes you feel like that, don't allow your insecurities to make you or allow, allow you to date this, a woman that's treating you so well. Again, there's a reason why your heart is keep yearning for this woman. And I suggest you open your mind and open your heart to accept what's coming through. Because that woman could be your wife and she could be the woman that will respect and honor you. Because again, everyone has a past. And anyone that doesn't understand we have a past, they're blind. And they don't understand that that's reality. She may not have respected herself because of her level of insecurities at one point. But you'll also insecure also because you're worried about what people are going to think. But as a, as a, again, never allow someone to make their decisions based on the fact that that woman gives you love and you're happy. So again, till next time, like, share, comment, repost, and go follow me on Instagram. I'm Q the Boss. And do me one favor. Don't let that go over your heads.